Thank you very much. And my name is Chris Spitzmeris, and I'm the head of the Bellary International Affairs of the Greek Ministry of Interior. And uh, what I've got a little background, and what I'm going to present are some results of the uh, PhD thesis that I'm working in uh, now uh, at the University of uh, Ionia. And uh, I'm going to uh, make uh, two presentations today. So I'm going to split more or less the information provided uh, and concerning sustainable development in this and also in the following uh, presentation. Uh, so uh, sustainable, uh, sustainable development is an important concept of the modern era whose uh, accomplishment poses major challenges to policymakers worldwide. The first and most widely known definition of sustainable development as a development that uh, meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs was provided in the report of the World Commission on Environment and Development. Another definition of sustainable development, which gives additional emphasis on importance of the nature environment, is one that was provided in a common publication of the World uh, Commission Union at the United Nations Environment program and the Worldwide Fund for Nature, and in which the term has the meaning of improving the quality of human life while living within the caring capacity of supporting ecosystems. Uh, these definitions are, however, general and broad statements that may go to grasp the complex nature of sustainable development. The action plan for sustainable development was uh, established in the United Nations Summit in Rio in uh, 1992, and uh, it is deployed in the form of a dynamic program known as Agenda 21. In Agenda 21, the three dimensions of sustainable development, the environmental, the economic, and the social one, were recognized as the three main perspectives which have to be taken into account during discourse and implementation of sustainable development. The most commonly used model of sustainable development presents these dimensions as three interconnected and partially overlapping circles of equal size, thus implying that effort should be made in order to bring them together in a balanced manner by recognizing their in-between conflicts. Um, this model has been criticized as overly simplistic, uh, as it promotes the approach towards sustainability in a very compact and uh, uh, mentalized uh, manner. As a result, the complex uh, connections and um, between economy, society, and environment are undervalued, and uh, the same applies for the holistic nature of the sustainable development concept. Despite the criticism, the training model. Um, remains uh, as a good basis in the field of sustainability practice and research. In fact, the new integrated 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, adopted in 2015, points out the need and commitment of the global community for achieving sustainable development in its three dimensions, as were mentioned before, in a balanced and integrated manner, and goes further by explicating the 17 Sustainable Development Goals accompanied by 169 uh, relevant targets. Uh, taking into account the fact that issues associated with the sustainable development are expected to play an increasingly important role in people's lives, the need for promoting sustainability literacy via education for sustainable development uh, has become crucial. The same applies for the need to be able to empirically uh, assess uh, sustainability literacy achieved via valid and reliable instrument. Such a psychometric instrument should cover all three dimensions of sustainable development and at the same time take into account that, as in the case of environmental literacy, sustainability literacy is expressed in both the uh, cognitive and the affective domains. It is thus necessary to probe people's knowledge, attitudes, and behaviors with regard to the three dimensions of it. The concept of sustainability consciousness has been developed in the, describe the results of the education sustainable development. It is used as alternative to the term sustainability literacy. And uh, what is the 
uh, instrument that we use. It is the sustainability consciousness questionnaire, which is a recently developed and empirically validated instrument that was first used among Swedish young adults uh, at the age of 18 and 19 years old, which aims at evaluating sustainability literacy by taking into account the holistic nature of sustainability via investigation of people's cognitive and affective use of the concept. For the development of the social uh, of the uh, questionnaire instrument, the research used the scale, uh, the scale that was uh, developed by Professor Michalo for measuring knowledge, attitudes, and behavior concerning uh, sustainability among teenage students in Canada. The uh, questionnaire instruments were tested among uh, uh, Swedish uh, students of different ages and specifically uh, of particular ages from the 12 to uh, 19 uh, year old. The final version consists a total of 50 items which aim at probing three psychological constructs, namely uh, knowingness. Uh, we have 19 items. Uh, also, uh, they are uh, the number 1 to 19 uh, items at the instrument, the attitudes, uh, 14 of them, and finally the behavior, 17 of them. Each psychological construct, knowingness, uh, attitudes, and uh, behaviors contained items that were related to all three dimensions of uh, sustainability, namely environment, society, and economy. You can also see at the background uh, the number of uh, each item. The content of uh, the questionnaire items was designed in such a way so that it includes the 15 sub-themes of sustainability proposed by the UNESCO framework for the United Nations Decade of Education for Sustainable Development and which are related to the environment, social, econ and the economic dimensions of the sustainability. And, uh, in order to probe the uh, sustainability consciousness of a population belonging to a different cultural content and or age group, it is necessary to examine the psychometric properties of the questionnaire ex novo. In this way, it may be assured that the new version of the instrument in a language different from the original and in addition in a different age group will provide valid measurements which may be subsequently exploited by all interested parties. In this work, the final version of the questionnaire, which was validated for the age group of young adults in Sweden, was adapted in the Greek language to produce the Greek version of the original instrument. Uh, actually, the questionnaire was handed out to adults who served in the Greek public sector and statistical analysis was conducted in order to answer the following research question. What are the psychometric properties of the sustainability conscious questionnaire within the adult population of the Greek cultural context as revealed via exploratory factor analysis? Let's have a look at the methodology of the questionnaire. The long version of the questionnaire compromised, as we said, of 50 items, and uh, they were available in the English language, uh, which was the original instrument that was translated into the Greek one, Greek language. A team of three translators, compromised by the authors of the publication, was employed for the foreword in this Greek translation of the questionnaire. In addition, a professional Greek English translator, a Greek native, was uh, native was uh, involved in the translation from Greek to English. Three translators work independently in order to produce three separate initial versions of the Greek questionnaire and uh, met in order to review the translation products, identify and discuss possibly conflicts and uh, discrepancies, discrepancies and reach a mutual agreement of the most appropriate translation of them. The product of the pack translator form was examined by the team of the three translators for comparability of meaning with the target language and clarity of wording. The specific adult group, which are the civil servants, the Greek public servants, was chosen because it is more easily accessible for ensuring an increased response rate and in addition because it presents a large variability with respect to factors such as educational background, age and geographic location. The respondents marked their level of agreement with each of the 50 statements items 
of the instrument using a five point glittered scale from one to five, ranging from strongly disagree to strongly agree. Uh, the Explorator in Factor Analysis, EFA, via the principal components method and the Varamax rotation with the Kaiser normalization was conducted in order to examine the factors that exist among the 50 items of the grid question. And finally, it has to be mentioned that the uh, SPSS software was also uh, employed. Um, let's have a glance at some of the results of the questionnaire. Well, a total of uh, 631 uh, fielding questionnaires were collected during the time period between October and December of 2021. With regard to the gender, the sample consisted of uh, 310 and uh, 320 participants who identified as female and male respectively, with only one uh, respondent uh, uh, having not uh, reported any gender. With regards to the age, the respondents presenting the following distribution. We have uh, 124 in the 20 to 39 year groups, 227 in the 40 to 49 year groups, 188 in the 50 to 59 year groups, and finally 92 in the 60 to 69 um, year groups. Uh, the preliminary statistical measure, uh, the KMO of Kaiser Major Olkin, was calculated equal almost to one that was uh, 0 0.979, which uh, well uh, above the lowest accepted limits, indicating the sample adequacy of the EFA analysis. EFA resulted in four results, components, factors, which are uh, described as components, with eigenvalues larger than one. And the four factor solution was confirmed by the following uh, script load as well, uh, which is uh, shown in figure one. It is also noted that the term factor is used in uh, interchange interchangeably with the term component. Uh, here, I don't know it is, if it's very clear, so you can see uh, in this, this Table one, uh, the factor loadings of the items which are assigned to each specific component are shown in board behind me. It is important to note that none of the 50 items is excluded from the factor structure. In uh, the case that some item loads to more than one factor, it is assigned to the factor for which it presents the highest loading. The four factor structure accounts for almost 65 uh, percent of the total variance of the data, which is in fact a very significant amount. By uh, examining the content of the items compromising each component factor, the following remarks and assignments can be made as following. The component one, it possesses the highest uh, eigenvalue uh, and accounts for almost uh, 50%, uh, the accurate percentage was uh, 49.16 of the total variance. It consists of 23 items of which to refer to attitudes and 11 to behavior. In addition, all three dimensions of sustainable development are also represented, environment, society, and economy. Thus, this factor would be entitled as attitudes and behavior towards sustainable development. The fact that attitudes and behavior are equally present under the same component is in accordance with the documented um, re uh, reciprocal relationship of the two constructs. Component two, let me also show you once again uh, the table behind me. It possesses the second highest uh, eigenvalue uh, and accounts for uh, around 9% of the total variance. It consists of 18 items which all refer to the construct of knowingness, a term which is adopted in the publication of the original instrument instead of the term knowledge. All three dimensions of sustainable development are represented, environment, society, and economy. The knowingness is used to express that uh, what the respondents recognize as important in order to accomplish sustainable development and has both a cognitive and affective component uh, as seen. In this work, it was decided to adopt the most um, widely used uh, term knowledge regarding um, uh, uh, sustainable development as a title for this factor. 
component three, it possesses the third highest eigenvalue and accounts for 5.25% of the total variance. It consists of four items which all refer to behavior. As in the first two components, all three dimensions of sustainable development are represented, environment, society, economy as well. Uh, the items of this component will be refer to behaviors that are more closely associated with actions. So uh, the factor is entitled social environmental actions. And finally, last but not least, uh, component four, it possesses the fourth highest eigenvalue and accounts for around 3% of the total variances. It consists of five items, one of which refers to knowingness, two to attitudes, and two to behavior. They are related with the environmental and social dimension of um, sustainable uh, development. And uh, following to these results, let me have some very, very brief conclusions. The brief version of sustainability, sustainability consciousness questionnaire applied in uh, adults uh, population was shown to be an instrument with strong psychometric properties as probed uh, via exploratory factor analysis. It contains a structure, as I said, of four factors, all of which with high reliability and uh, which in total explain a very large part, 60% of the variance. The content of the four uh, uh, identified factors refer to the following themes regarding sustainable development, which are uh, attitudes, behavior, knowledge, and social environmental activists, as well as the data. The availability of the Greek questionnaire provides the possibility for valid measurement of the different aspects of sustainability literacy among the adult uh, Greek population. Therefore, it is expected to serve as a valuable tool for assessing the effectiveness of different policies and educational initiatives related to sustainable development and thus contribute to its further advancement. Thank you very much for being here and thank you very much for your attention.